If you're like most people, you're swimming in a sea of tabs, docs, and things you have to do. Workspaces will help you get all that stuff organized so you can stay focused and productive. Workspaces organize everything you need for a project or workflow in one place. They contain tabs, resources, notes, and tasks. Organizing tabs in Workona is totally optional, but for many users, it's their favorite feature. Now, if you decide to enable tab management, you can think of a workspace almost like a browser window for the project. Once you've organized your tabs into a workspace, it will contain just the tabs you need for the project at hand. It's like having a separate desk for each of the projects you're working on. Sometimes you can end up with a lot of tabs within a given workspace. Now, rather than keeping everything open, saving some of those tabs as resources can help you stay organized and focused. Think of resources like a bookmark folder for the project. Normally, when you close a tab, it's gone. And if you need that tab again, you'd have to go find it. Now, if you instead save that tab as a resource, then you can close that tab and easily reopen it later whenever you need it. For example, if I wanted to close this tab, but know I might need it later, I can save it as a resource. Now I can close the tab and easily reopen it the next time I need it. You can also keep your project organized by separating resources into different sections. For example, you might name a section key docs to keep the most important project resources top of mind. And you might create another section called research with some sites to reference later. We recommend saving everything related to the project as resources and keep just what you're actively working on open as tabs. You can add resources from your open tabs, anything in your browser history, docs from Drive, or files from your computer. It's important to note, your tabs within workspaces are always private. So if you want to share a tab with a workspace collaborator, simply save it as a resource. Workspaces also have built-in notes and tasks. You can use notes as a scratch pad for project info, ideas, brainstorming, or whatever else you need to jot down. Since most projects have action items that need to be done, we made it easy to add them as tasks in the workspace. Add them here so you don't forget them, and they'll be waiting for you the next time you're ready to work on the project. Now that you understand how to create a workspace, let's talk about how to best split up your work into workspaces. One of the common mistakes we see is to make workspaces too broad. For example, workspaces titled Home and Work. Instead, we recommend creating a workspace for each of the projects you're working on or repeating workflows you do regularly. For example, a project you might be working on is a website redesign. So you'd create a workspace with all of the docs you need for that project. Or a repeating workflow might be sales demos. So you'd create a workspace containing all the resources you need to give a demo. Once you've created workspaces for each of your projects and workflows, you'll be able to seamlessly switch context as you move through your workday with everything you need for each project right at your fingertips.